it's always a little challenging to translate the work that you do in office with a rotator to home practice. You know, the tools are large. Uh, you, you can't, uh, you know, send many of them home. There's certain models that you can, uh, but a digital version or, or what's been added, um, thanks to the feedback to a neurovisual trainer, it has been a really uh, powerful addition to our clinic. So I'll just show you a little bit about how we sequence things in the event that you might find um, find some use in um, in adding this this particular tool. So within Neurovisual Trainer, as we know, there's there's exercises here, and as you can see, we've got a rotator. Now the really great thing about this particular tool is it's it, it's modifiable, and it's modifiable in a very logical way. So level is going to indicate kind of the speed, how many cycles per minute. Um, the variant is going to be what do you want the peripheral target to be? So I can show you some of those. There's basic, which is just gonna be dots that you, that you press on. There's ordered numbers, which is a little bit of a higher level activity. And then there's finger follow uh, for someone who's maybe just trying to get, get a sense of how to keep their peripheral vision engaged. You can change the direction clockwise or counterclockwise. You can do how many rounds, uh, you can use duration, how long you want them to do the rotator. And this is really slick, you can use anaglyphic glasses that are either random. So some are going to be um, red filtering, some are green. And again, you can, you can configure the program to be red, blue as well, depending on what glasses you have. You can fixate it more so that the right is going to be seeing the target, the left is going to be the target, or you can alternate. So I'll show you random to give an idea of, uh, of the colors you can expect. Um, you can change the dot size to make them larger, smaller. You can change how many dots are rotating to, uh, to uh, improve or to change difficulty. And your central focus, uh, you can again have no central focus. You can have a single letter, a single uh, letter or a fireball, which is fun for kids. So I'll, I'll show you this. So the basic variant works a lot like what we're used to seeing in uh, traditional uh, rotator. So you have them look at the central fixation target. Um, and again, they've got anaglyphic glasses. You can see some are going to be filtering on the left, some are the right, and they're going to be touching the targets in um, some level of sequence. So you'll have them go, again, you can pick up, you can have smaller targets, you can have them move faster. Um, you can make it a little bit more challenging, as we said, if you want to do ordered numbers. This is pretty, this is pretty high level, but it's good, uh, it's good for processing here again. Um, so if you're looking at it, you're going to be wanting to try and find that one. You can see I'm moving my eyes a little. I'm cheating. I would get in trouble for this. I'm cheating. But you're going to have them go in sequence here. Um, and then finally, if they're really struggling or you want to add uh, something just to get a sense of that peripheral um, awareness, you can simply have them follow a target as they're looking at it. So kind of this rotated around, follow it with their finger there and try and keep it uh, at the pace while looking straight ahead at, uh, at the fireball. Very modifiable. You can use it. Um, you can use it in office. If you've got an iPad on a stand or any type of a touch screen. And, uh, the nice thing is you can send it home, uh, as well too, which has always been a little bit of a, a barrier for us in terms of home rotator training. So we've been really impressed, uh, again, with, with what the developers have put together. Um, again, they're, they've been really responsive um, to, I know, many of the teams that they work with. And I uh, just wanted to demonstrate a little bit of the versatility of this fantastic tool that they've added.